March 24 marked 47 years since the US-backed civic military coup overthrew the left-wing government of President Isabel Martínez de Perón in Argentina. The coup installed the bloodiest dictatorship in the history of the country. During over seven years of dictatorship, Argentine security forces, along with right-wing death squads, hunted down anyone believed to be resisting the dictatorship linked to socialist or left groups or fighting for human rights. It is estimated that over 30,000 students, activists, trade unionists, writers, journalists, artists, and any citizen suspected of being left-wing activists were kidnapped, tortured, and disappeared. The military junta silenced any political or ideological dissidents. This is Zoe Alexander from People's Dispatch. We're here in Plaza de Mayo in Buenos Aires, Argentina. There's tens of thousands of people marching on the streets today from trade unions, left political parties, human rights organizations, and they're all out here to remember the 47th anniversary since the coup d'etat in Argentina, which installed the military dictatorship. It's also the 40th anniversary of a return to democracy in Argentina, a very, very important date. For over three decades, every year on March 24th, hundreds of thousands of citizens, relatives of the disappeared people, members of social movements, human rights organizations and left-wing political parties marched to the Plaza de Mayo in the capital Buenos Aires to commemorate the victims of the last dictatorship and demand justice for the crimes against humanity committed by the state during that period. Um, people out are out here remembering the 30,000 people who were detained and disappeared during those years of dictatorship. It's a very solemn day, but it's also a day of celebrating the resistance of the Argentinian people, not only to defeat the military dictatorship, but also in the constant exercise of memory, of remembering those who fought against the dictatorship, of remembering those who were lost, who were disappeared, whose families are still searching for the truth of what happened to them. And that's why it's such a, a vibrant and large mobilization of all ages, of people who lived through the dictatorship, of young people who heard about it. Um, it's a very inspiring day. Uh, different speeches are being made by different human rights activists, by the mothers and the grandmothers of the Plaza de Mayo, who tirelessly fought for the truth, who tirelessly fought to find out what happened to their loved ones during those dark days. Thank you so much.